Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So shout out to Onyx Negus. We've been trying to figure out this whole Kevin Hart debacle for the past two damn days, okay? Like literally the past two days. We've been trying to put these pieces together and figure out what the hell happened to Kevin Hart. Oh, man, what happened? So if you guys do not know, four days ago, Kevin Hart was involved in a really scary accident where everybody honestly could have died, okay? So before the accident, Kevin Hart had posted a picture on Instagram of him in front of his new birthday present. He got himself like a 1980-something Barracuda, honey, okay? Never seen one, never heard of one, but it's a really expensive old-school muscle car. So he was on the gram showing off the car, and then later on that night, between the hours of 12.13 to 12.45, because all the, the time is just getting changed up as the days have gone on, Kevin Hart was involved in a really bad accident. Um, there were two other people in the car with him. One was Jared Black, and the other one was Rebecca uh, Boxerman, who is Jared Black's fiance, okay? So initially when the reports came out, they were saying that Jared was the one driving. Kevin was supposedly in the backseat with the lady. Um, it, the whole thing just didn't make any sense. Then the next day it came out, and they were saying that Kevin Hart was in the passenger side, and that, you know, Jared was driving. Then the third day came out that Kevin Hart was was pulled out of the driver's side by a witness and now the 911 calls are coming out and these 911 calls are basically conflicting the original stories that came out. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these 911 calls, these news clips. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. LA County Fire, number six. Hi. I was in an accident. I just need to know who's on. I need someone to come get him. Who's this? Thank you. And he's at a house, apartment, or business right now? Yes, he's in a house. In a house. Okay, in the good. And you wait? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and so he was in a car accident earlier tonight, or what happened? Yes, earlier tonight. I don't know what happened. Okay, he's but... Scared. He's, he's not coherent at all. Okay, so is he... Okay, is he breathing? Yes, he's breathing. Okay, so... He was injured in a, a car accident. Did he get treatment originally from when he was injured? Did he go to the hospital or? No, 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 no treatment at all. We, we're just here and he can't, he can't move. Okay, how long ago did the accident happen though? How long, I mean, a couple of hours ago or, or when? Like 20 minutes ago. Okay, and so did it happen in front of your house? No, not in front of our house, outside of our, our gated community. Okay, but now he's inside the house with you, correct? Correct? Yes. Okay, the fire department's on the way. We want to keep him in a very stable position and not move him. How's his breathing doing right now? He's okay. He's breathing. Okay. He's breathing. Okay. Is there any uh, obvious broken bones that you can tell? you see anything broken? I just Something on his back is pulling out on his spine, and that's... I'm not sure. Okay, but there's no, no, there's no blood or bone or anything sticking no, out through there? Not. Okay. No. Is there any, is he throwing up any vomiting? No vomiting. Okay. No does he no. does he look pale, cold, or sweaty to you? No. No. Okay. Just keep him as comfortable as you can. Not a lot of movement. Okay. County Fire Seventy Eight. What's the address? Beach View uh, Center. It's going to be southbound Mulholland Highway, just south of Stunt Road, and we are in now. Okay. One moment. Is he? Everybody in the vehicle awake? Um. Yeah. They're both awake. Well, uh, sounds like the passenger's stuck in the car. Uh, the driver is out of the car, but uh, he looks a little hurt. Uh, I think the top of the car is crushed. Mulholland and Las Virginis. Okay. I'll stay here until the cops. Are okay. How many people are stuck inside? Do you know? I think it's just one lady. Now. Uh, the driver is out right now. They're trying to get the passenger out. Okay. And how many vehicles involved total? Two. It, no, it's just one car that went off. Uh, I'm here with another car that stopped to pull over. Uh, I mean, pulled over to help. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's it. So there's only one car that went off. Okay. Uh, and everybody else is, everybody is conscious and breathing. She's just the only one that's actually stuck inside the vehicle? Yeah. Is uh, the vehicle overturned at all? No, it's not. It's just, uh, it's off, it's just on the angle on the hill. All right. So I just want to, I'm going to stay on the line with you until somebody gets there, okay? Sure. Can you, is it possible for you to find out if she has any injuries? Yeah. Does she have any major injuries? Do you guys know? Of? No major injuries. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be able to do that. I, I, but she's not complaining of any like 
major broken bones, severe bleeding, anything like that? I'm sorry? It, it does not sound like it. No. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, the fire department is on the way. CHP is as well. They're going to be there in just a moment. I'm going to keep you on the phone for just in case anything changes, okay? Okay, thank you. Sir, is she inside and she's talking, correct? Okay. Sir? I stopped the helmet. Okay, there's two more people, right? Sir? Hello? Oh, sorry. Uh, hi, I was, uh, I was just uh, moving one of the cars. I'm still here. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I just want to make sure she's inside, but she's conscious, correct? She's yeah. conscious. Yeah, there's okay. two more people in the car. Yeah. There's two more in there? There's a driver and the passenger. I think the other person that's here was yeah, helping. But how many are still uh, stuck in the car? Two are stuck in the car, so there's three, I guess. Two, okay. All right. Are, are both of them conscious? Yeah, they're all conscious. Uh, are either of them having any breathing problems? No, it sounds like they're just uh, scared because they're in there stuck. Okay, and also, what part of the car is crushed? Like, where are they? The, it's so the vehicle's on its roof. Um, yeah, the the roof is uh, crushed, and the the car is pretty total. There, the door smashed in. The a the a the a bar, uh, the a pillar is crushed into the front of the dash. Okay. Help's coming, guys. Don't worry. The ambulance is on the way. You guys okay in there? Stay calm. Help's coming. All right, so you guys just listened to the news clips. You guys just heard the 911 audio. One came from Aniko. The other one came from somebody who was there who confirmed that somebody was pulled out of the driver's side window, okay? So this entire situation is not making sense to a lot of us who have common sense. Honey, when I tell you my damn tin hat has been tingling, it's been damn tingling non-damn stop, okay? Now, I don't know if this is a Illuminati failed hit attempt on Kevin Hart. If Kevin Hart was just damn drunk and doesn't want to get a DUI and take personal responsibility, but something is fishy, okay? Okay. One, people are like, well, how did his security get there so fast? I can understand, you know, his security tailing behind him because he is Kevin Hart. You know, you don't want to put your client at risk. Wherever he goes, they goes. So I understand them being there. But what bothers me is that the security, they took him out of the car. And usually when there's an accident, especially something that serious where the roof is caved in, I mean, it looks like an accident that literally nobody should have walked away from. Why would you risk pulling him out of the car before calling 911 and waiting for an ambulance to transfer him? And then the fact that they took him out of the car and which in turn messed up his back because he had to have emergency spinal back surgery, okay? So they took him out of the car and then they took him home, but they did not call 911 or take him to the hospital until like a, between an hour to two hours later. So my thing is, why would he wait an hour to two hours to go to the hospital unless he was trying to sober up? Like something just does not add up. Meanwhile, his friends who are just as seriously hurt, they're still in the car and nobody from his entourage called until much later. It was the people on the scene who called faster than his own entourage who were there to witness the whole crash it was strangers on the street who called to help Kevin Hart's friends so the whole situation is really fishy but I want to reserve judgment but then when they ran into Nico coming out the hospital her demeanor and her energy was just really off she seemed really annoyed she seemed really pissed um she did not seem like a woman whose man was in a serious accident she feels really really bad so I don't know what's going on but the whole story her energy everything is off with this I want you guys to go ahead and check Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. How's, how's Kevin doing? He's great. Is he is he gonna pull through fully? You think? Yeah, he's gonna be just fine. How are his spirits? He's good. He's good. Everybody's good. All right. That's it. All right. Anything anything else you can tell us about his condition? About? No, I'm not saying anything. He's fine. He's is all right. He awake right now? He's awake. Is he laughing and joking at this point? Honey, like I said, this entire situation gets crazier and crazier by the day. Another thing that doesn't make any sense is if Kevin Hart's friend was driving 
and they pulled him out of the driver's side window, that wouldn't make any sense for his friend to be in there driving. Because if you guys look at the pictures, the car is like basically crushed in. That you're not gonna be able to drag somebody over somebody else's body. There's not gonna be any room to do that. There's literally no roof if you look at this picture. So why would they have to grab Kevin Hart, who was allegedly on the passenger side, and then drag him across his friend who's trapped on the driver's side? Why wouldn't they just drag Kevin Hart out the passenger side of the you know car, being that there's no roof or no door from this picture? That doesn't make any sense. Obviously, they took him from the driver's side door because, uh, he was the one driving. So Kevin Hart, I feel, had to be driving, and a lot of people are covering up for him, possibly including TMZ. Something just doesn't sit right with this story. And the fact that this man had a broken back or, you know, had, you know, severe back issues and was out of there quicker than damn Usain Bolt, that shit don't make no damn sense to somebody with damn common sense looking at this damn story, okay? The shit is just fishy as hell. I'm not buying none of this crap. And if you guys do not know... Okay, I got to bring it back. Y'all know I don't forget shit. Okay, I got to bring back the old receipts. Six years ago, if you guys do not know, Kevin Hart was charged with DUI because he was driving on the 405, drunk as a damn skunk, and he almost ran and hit an oil tanker. And had he hit that oil tanker, he would have blew up the whole damn 405, okay? So Kevin Hart was arrested and charged with DUI. Um, he was on probation for three years. This was six years ago, so clearly he's off probation now. That was a really serious case, so I'm thinking he might have been drunk again or, you know, off the influence, and he doesn't want to have another DUI on his record. You know, he has a lot of things going on. He doesn't need any more bad press. So that might be why they're trying to shift the blame and say that Jared was the one driving, you know what I'm saying, and Kevin was on the passenger side. Another thing that I find really funny, because me and my homeboy talked about this yesterday, okay, when somebody lets you drive their vehicle, especially when it's an expensive ass car, okay? Because I've driven people's Porsches and shit like that. And when you're driving somebody's expensive car and you don't have the same amount of money that they have, you're going to be extra damn careful, okay? You're not going to be driving somebody's expensive limited edition car through Mulholland Drive, which is one of the most windiest places you can drive in LA. Mulholland Drive just creeps me out. You're going to take your time. You're going to be extra cautious. The only way somebody will be driving that fast or erratic is if it's your own car and you feel like you know your car, okay? I, I, I feel like Kevin Hart was the one driving because I don't feel like a friend is going to drive somebody else's car in that manner, especially when you're not used to the vehicle and then you're driving through Mulholland Drive, which is really treacherous. So I don't see a friend driving that crazy. If his friend was driving, I would see his friend driving, you know, more cautious and more aware. You know what I mean? So I, I'm not buying this. I just feel like there's more to the story. We're going to have to wait and see how everything pans out. But with that being said, I am glad that Kevin Hart is okay. I don't want anything bad to happen to him physically or anybody else that was in that car. I'm glad that they all survived because it's very, very scary. Like I said in the last video, we just lost LaShawn Daniel. He just died in a car accident, so I'm glad that Kevin Hart is okay. But I do feel in my heart of hearts that Kevin Hart might have been driving, but that he does not want to be tied to this because, again, six years ago he was charged and arrested for a DUI, and he's trying to clean up his image, and he doesn't want anything you know tainting his perfect Hollywood image and the fact that Aniko was so cold and her vibe was so off she seemed really angry and annoyed so I don't know I just feel like there's more to the story I could be wrong we're just gonna have to wait to see how all this plays out so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation honey once again concerning Kevin Hart and this car accident honey this damn story got more twists and turns than Mulholland Drive itself okay I mean this story has changed more and more over the past few days it makes no damn sense what's so damn ever anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping don't forget to like comment rate and subscribe let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation are you guys buying what the media is trying to say or do you feel like they're trying to cover up for Kevin Hart and that Kevin Hart was indeed the driver and the fact that he left his friends in that car was all the way bogus so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces